All right, so let's uh, find our comfortable seat. And again, if you want a blanket or pillow underneath your hips to support your um, sitting up a little taller, it kind of eases the hamstrings and the low back. And we'll begin with rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. And then we'll take the fingertips and gently brush them across the forehead, temples and cheeks, brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward. And take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. When you're ready, you can float your hands down, either keeping your eyes closed or just gently gazing downward. Extend your spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Lift your heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale. We'll tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibrations. Another deep breath in. <clears throat> oh. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra as it connects us all as one. Allow yourself to settle here this Saturday morning. And set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself. Bringing your awareness to the breath. Allow each inhale to bring you here, to this room, to this moment. Allow each exhale to release anything not needed for your practice today.
With your next inhaling breath, allow the belly to soften and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching them out to the sides. And as you exhale, contract the belly and relax the ribs. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding and opening, contracting and relaxing. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax and lower. Continue this full deep breath, expanding your lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale. As you continue this full deep breath, let's move into Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breath. So we'll bring the right hand pointer and middle finger between the eyebrows, ring finger and thumb on either side of the nose. Taking another breath in and out. As you come to your inhale, gently close the right nostril, inhaling through the left. Switch and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Switch and exhale through the left. Continue following this pattern. following your body's rhythm.
One more full round. And the next time you finish the exhale on the left side, and float your hand down and gently return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace and calm. And bring your awareness to the right hand, allowing the tips of the thumb and pointer finger to come together. And bring those fingertips to your heart center, turning your attention deeper inward toward your heart, looking within for your inner light and your inner joy. As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. As you find that connection with your inner joy, allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. and breathe it out into the space around you. As we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down, gently open your eyes. If you would like to switch your legs or change positions, please uh, do what feels right for your body today. And then with our next inhaling breath, let's scrunch the shoulders up by our ears. And as you exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. We'll bring the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down, tucking the shoulder blades, lifting the heart. Gently strengthening the muscles around the scapula, holding the shoulder blade in place. Noticing if it's stronger or weaker on one side or the other. Trying to find the balance. And let's press the elbows back toward each other, lifting the heart. Gently squeezing the center of the shoulder blades toward each other, wringing out any tension. Then we'll open the arms wide, turning the palms up, lifting the heart a little more if that feels okay, and drawing the lower corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, opening the chest. If it feels okay, you could flex the wrists, pressing through the palms. Then let's bring the arms in front, crossing the right over the left, bending at the elbows, hands back to back, or left hand around the right wrist, or hands at the shoulders, whatever feels best for your body today. Elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. 
Gently squeeze the arms together or press the elbows away from you. Breathing into the upper back. Allow your jaw to soften and the neck to be relaxed. If it feels okay, you can begin lowering and lifting the elbows, extending that stretch around the shoulders. And with your next inhaling breath, if it feels okay, lift the elbows a little higher, gently arching. And as you exhale round the spine, being careful of your low back, letting the arms drop down and the weight of it stretching through the upper back. And with your next inhale, come back to the center. Gently unwrapping the arms, opening wide, pressing through the palms as that feels okay. And then we'll bring the arms in front, this time left over the right, bending at the elbows, again, hands back to back or right hand around the left wrist or hands at the shoulders. Elbows up to shoulder height dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing the arms together or pressing the elbows away, breathing into the upper back. Jaw and neck are soft. And if it feels okay, begin to lower and lift the elbows, extending the stretch around the shoulders. And if it feels okay with your next inhale, lift the elbows a little higher, gently arching. And as you exhale round the spine, being careful of the low back, letting the arms drop down, opening the upper back with the weight. And with your next inhale coming back to center, we'll unwrap the arms, reaching them out to the side. We're gonna tuck those shoulder blades down again and turn the palms up, keeping the shoulder blades tucked. As you come to your exhale, we'll rotate the palms forward. So following your breath, working on that internal rotation of the shoulders. Keeping the shoulder blades tucked in. And then we'll make some circles with the wrists. You can do that with the hands in a fist or open, whatever feels best for you. And reverse those circles. We'll bring the hands together at the heart, interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms out in front. Roll the shoulders forward, round the spine and drop the chin. And as you come to your next inhale, lift the palms up over the head, gently arching. And as you exhale, gently round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. This time as you exhale, leave the palms up and gently lower the chin toward the chest. Soften the elbows rolling the upper corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, gently squeezing, wringing out tension in the trapezius muscles across the shoulders and into the neck. 
soften through the back of the neck a little more if it feels okay and allow the jaw to relax. And if it feels comfortable for your joints, you can press the palms a little higher. With your next inhale, lift the chin. And as you exhale, gently twist toward the right, floating the hands down, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind the right hip. Lifting your heart with your inhale, gently twist through the exhale, head comes around left. Hold and breathe. Lifting the heart with each inhale, twisting gently through the ribs with each exhale. Keeping the left hand on the knee with your next inhale, lift your right arm up by your ear. And as you exhale, reach across the body. Right hip drops toward the mat, lift the heart, chin is away from the chest, reaching through the fingertips, breathing into the right side of the body. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, come back to the center. And take a breath in and out. We'll inhale, just interlacing the fingers, lifting the palms up over the head. Exhale, twisting toward the right. Nope, that's the left, <laughs> floating the hands down. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist to the left. Head comes around left. Lifting your heart with each inhale. Twisting gently through the ribs with each exhale. Finding that edge between flexibility and inflexibility. Keeping the right hand on the knee with your next inhaling breath, bring the left arm up by your ear. And as you exhale, reach across the body, dropping the left hip toward the mat, lifting the heart, chin is gently away from the chest, fingertips reaching across the ceiling. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And exhale back to the center. And we'll take a breath in and out. And then let's go ahead and extend our legs out in front of us. If you'd like to keep the blanket or pillow underneath your hips for the forward bend, go ahead and do that. So we'll have our feet extended down toward the end of the mat. Flexing the feet, toes pointing up toward the ceiling, lifting the spine tall, hands can rest on the legs or floor, shoulders are back and down. And then we're gonna engage the quadriceps by drawing the kneecaps up. Trying to balance the inner and outer quads, noticing if your feet tend to roll out or in and try to balance that. Reaching through those heels, Spine is tall, belly is strong. And if it feels okay, you can engage the, the quads a little bit more and lift the heels off the floor. Just be careful not to hyperextend through the back of the knees. Make sure you keep breathing.
And with your next exhale, soften the legs. Inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale, gently fold forward, being careful of the low back. Hands on the legs, floor, or feet, whatever feels most comfortable. You could also use a strap if you would like. With your next inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, soften through the back of the legs and the low back. Following the breath, lengthening and softening. Allowing the ribs to come toward the thighs. Not worrying about the head coming toward the legs. And with your next inhaling breath, lift up tall. We'll bring the hands behind the hips, fingertips pointing toward the hips. You can work with incline plane by keeping the feet together and lifting the hips up high. Or if you prefer working with reverse table, bringing the feet or bending the knees, bringing the feet hip width apart and lifting here. So whichever version feels best for you today, listening to what you need. Elbows are bent, shoulders are rolled back. With your next inhaling breath, let's lift the hips high. Exhale, gently lower and hover, keeping the elbows bent. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower and hover again, if that feels okay. Inhale, lift. Hold and breathe or continue coming up and down. Head extends out from the spine. Elbows are slightly bent, hips pressing up tall. And then we'll gently lower back down and shake out those wrists. And coming to the center of the mat, we'll round the spine and gently roll back, lengthening the spine, extending the legs out, gently scanning up the body, noticing any parts that feel tired, achy or sore, honoring yourself and your body by listening to its messages. Pushing yourself to your edge, but not beyond it. And remembering that each time you do yoga, your body is a little bit different. Let's bend the right leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Lengthen through the neck, shoulders tuck under. Soften around the hips. Keeping the left hand on the knee, allow the right arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And with your exhale, gently twist over the left side of the body. Right hip comes off of the mat, foot comes across toward the floor. Vision toward the right arm as much as feels okay for your neck. Release the muscles around the hip. Ease the spine into the twist.
With your next inhale, come back to the center. Extending the leg up toward the sky, take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath. Releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle. Stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. And reaching through the heel, let's drop the sitting bones down, gently arching the low back, allowing the hamstrings to stretch. And then we'll tuck the tailbone, I mean, sorry, sorry, tuck the pelvis, drawing the belly muscles down toward the back, drawing the leg toward the torso just as far as feels okay, reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong. You could stay here or if it feels okay, with your exhale, lift the head and chest toward your leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down or rest. Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong. Neck is nice and long. You can stay here or if it feels okay, flex the left foot. Lift it gently off of the floor a couple of inches. And if you'd like, you can also release the hands to add a little more challenge. And we'll lower the left leg. With your inhale, gently lower the head and chest. And as you exhale, Slowly lower the right leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bend the left leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in towards the chest. Lengthen through the neck, shoulders tuck under. Soften around the hip. Keeping the right hand on the knee, allow the left arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And as you exhale, gently twist over the right side of the body. Left hip comes off of the mat, foot comes across toward the floor. Vision toward the left arm as much as feels okay for your neck. Release the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. With the next inhale, come back to the center. Extending your leg up toward the sky, take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. And as you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through your heel. And follow your breath, pointing and flexing, releasing the front and the back of the leg.
Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, let the sitting bones drop down, gently arching the low back. And then gently tuck the pelvis, drawing the belly muscles down and drawing the leg toward the torso. Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong. You can stay here or with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down or rest. Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong. Neck is nice and long. Stay here or if it feels okay, gently flex and lift the right foot off the floor. And if you'd like, you can also release the hand. Lower the right leg. Inhale, lowering the head and chest. And as you exhale, slowly lower the left leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bend the knees, placing the feet on the floor next to each other. And then gently allow the knees to fall out to the side so the soles of the feet are touching. Tuck the shoulders under. We'll work with um, frog pose where we're gonna be pulling the feet in and out. So just really listening to your body, doing as much as feels okay or just resting in one variation, if that is preferable. So you could stay here in Supta Baddha Konasana, or as you exhale, you can gently push the feet away from you. So you're extending the legs, keeping the soles of the feet together and stopping when they start to come apart. And then as you inhale, gently pulling the heels back toward the groin. So just following your breath, extending the legs, keeping the soles of the feet together and drawing them in. My calves are feeling a little um, tight this morning. So as I'm extending out, they're talking to me. So I'm gonna be a little gentle and not go too far. really listen to what your body needs today. And then the next time your feet are near the groin, we'll rest there for a moment. softening anywhere you feel like you're holding on through the hips and the buttocks. And gently placing the hands on the outer sides. We'll lift the knees back together and then bring the knees over the torso, gently hugging them in, apanasana. Breathing into the low belly. So 
From here, you can either roll to your right side, pressing up with the palms, or you can flip your hands behind the knees, kick the feet over the head, and gently rock up. So let's go ahead and we'll come on to hands and knees and then we'll actually come to standing and we'll work with the moon salutations today. So coming toward the, the end of your mat, um, the thing about moon salutations too is we are on our knees. Um, a bit. So if you want to place um, like your blanket in the center so that when you step back into the lunge, you're able to put, rest your knee on it, that might be helpful. Um, I have a, I'm on carpet and have two mats. So it's a little overly padded for me today. So I'm going to take that off. But depending on what your flooring is, that may be helpful. So coming to the end of the mat. Feet hip width apart, spine tall, shoulders back and down. Soften the knees gently, finding our strong mountain pose. We'll bring the hands to the heart. Take a breath in and out. With your next inhaling breath, keeping the hands together, we'll lift the arms over the head, gently arching. And as you exhale, fold forward, softening the knees. Inhale, lifting the spine, extending it out. And exhale, we'll come into a squat. So be careful with your knees, do it just as much as feels okay. Inhale. If it feels okay, you can bring the hands to the heart or keep the, the fingertips on the floor and let the breath go. We'll step back with the right leg, bringing the knee down as we inhale. And lift the arms up over the head. Exhale, hands to the mat and we'll bring the left knee back. And inhale, opening the arms wide, gently arching. Exhale, hips to the heels, coming down into child's pose. And again, listening to your knees. Inhale, sliding forward onto the belly. And lifting into a gentle cobra. Exhale, pressing the hips back to the heels once more. Inhale, lifting up into kneeling and arching, opening the arms. Exhale, we're going to step forward with the right foot, coming into the lunge. And inhale, the arms up over the head. Exhale, bringing the hands to the mat, stepping forward with the left foot, coming back into the squat. Taking an inhale, exhale, hips up toward the sky, coming into the forward bend. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up, palms together. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath in and out. With your next inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine with a halfway lift. Exhale, lowering into the squat as much as feels okay. Inhale, hands to the heart if that feels okay. And exhale as you hold. Inhale, stepping back with the left leg, bringing that knee down and sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hands down, bringing that right knee back. Inhale, opening the arms wide, gently arching. 
Exhale, hips toward the heels in child's pose. Inhale, sliding through onto the belly and lifting into a gentle cobra. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, lifting into kneeling, gently arching. Exhale, stepping forward with the left foot. Inhale, the arms up over the head. Exhale, bringing the right foot forward, coming back to the squat. Inhale, balancing if that feels okay. Exhale, lifting the hips, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. And take a breath in and out. Let's do one more round on each side. And this time as we practice, think about what you wanna let go of with this full moon. Anything you've been carrying that you would like to let go of. And as you practice, as we come with each of those exhales, just let it go back to the earth. So again, coming to the end of the mat, you tip with apart, hands at the heart, take a breath in and out. With your next inhaling breath, lift the arms up over the head, gently arching. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, squat. Inhale, hands to the heart if that feels okay. Exhale, hold. Inhale, the right leg back onto the knee. Lifting the arms up over the head. Exhale, bringing the left knee back. Inhale, arching, opening the arms wide. Exhale, hips to the heels, child's pose. Inhale, sliding through onto the belly, gentle cobra. Exhale, hips to the heels. Child's pose. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, gently arching. Exhale, stepping forward with the right leg. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, stepping through or forward with the left leg. Inhale, hands to the heart, balancing if that feels okay. Exhale, hips to the sky, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to the heart. I'll take a breath in and out. And once more on the left side with your inhale, lifting up and back. Exhale, releasing whatever you need to to the earth as you forward fold. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, squat. Inhale, hands to the heart. Exhale, hold. Inhale, step back with the left leg, knee to the mat, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, bringing the right knee back. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, hips to the heels, child's pose. Inhale, sliding forward onto the belly, gentle cobra. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, lift, open, gently arching. Exhale, stepping forward with the left foot. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, bringing the right foot forward. Inhale, squat. 
Exhale, hips toward the sky, forward bend. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up, palms together. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath in and out. All right, let's work with um, the standing big toe to, or hand to big toe. Um, if you want to use a strap for this, um, that can be really helpful. I just realized I didn't bring a strap down. Uh, so you can use like a sleeve, um, like a strap here. Ooh, that's a little heavy. Actually, I think we do have one. Ah, there we go. Yay, I did have one. <laughs> so if you want to use a strap for this one, you would put this strap, I suppose. <laughs> you should get balanced before you try to do this. So hold on a second and I'll direct you, but I just wanted to show you the option for holding the strap here and then bringing the arm out or the leg out. Or you can do the big toe and here. So there we go. <laughs> I should slow down a little. <laughs> All right, so we'll find our balance on both feet. Find tall shoulders back and down. And if you'd like to use a wall for support, you can have it at, um, either at the back or you can also have a hand, the left hand on the wall. Belly strong, knees soft. Lift the toes, spread them wide as you lower them down. And then we'll shift our weight to the left leg. Engaging those quadriceps, keeping the knee slightly bent. Then if you have a strap, you'll want to grab that or have that. And as you lift to the right leg, you're going to put the strap underneath the foot or you're going to reach down and bend. Sorry, <laughs> reach down and grab the big toe. And if all of that feels like too much today, you can really just work on the balance piece here by lifting the, um, by bringing the big toe to the floor and just lifting the foot here and then playing with lifting the knee. So really do what feels right for you today. So if it feels okay to lift that knee, either put the strap underneath or grab hold of the big toe with the arm on the inside of the leg. And if it feels okay, you can work on extending the leg out and then gently opening to the side and a little balance with the left arm, either on the wall or up in the air is helpful. Finding that focus spot to help you, that drishti gaze. <laughs> and listening to your body <laughs> coming down when it feels right or when your body loses balance. <laughs> And we'll shake out our legs, find our balance on both feet again. Find tall shoulders back and down, belly strong, knees soft. Lift the toes as you spread them wide, lowering them down. Shifting your weight to your right leg, finding a focus spot for your gaze. Again, coming up to the big toe, working on balance here, working on lifting the knee if that feels okay. And then either putting the strap underneath the foot or bringing the hand to the big toe. If it feels okay, working on extending the leg out and opening to the side. And again, adding that right arm either on the wall or out to the side for balance. Mm Listening to your body, doing what feels right right now. And then when you're ready, gently lowering down and shaking out the legs. And let's um, spread our legs nice and wide. And we're going to turn the right foot toward the short end of the mat and the left heel back. 
keeping the hips facing the long end of the mat. Let's inhale the arms out at shoulder height. And as you exhale, we'll bend the right knee coming into Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Vision over the right arm, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders, pressing actively into the feet. You can peek down, making sure your knee is stacked over the ankle, not going past the toes. Rooting into the earth. Draw up whatever you need in this moment from the earth, breathing it in through your legs all the way up into your heart. Strength, patience, courage, energy, whatever it is, allow it to fill your heart, fill your spirit. And if there is anything overflowing, Allow that to flow out on, to, on the breath into the world. Let's float the left hand down to the leg, turning the right palm up. We'll lift the right arm up toward the sky. Into a reverse warrior, pressing actively into the feet. And then we'll bring the right forearm to the right thigh. Rotating the left shoulder back, you could stay here. If it feels okay, you could bring the left arm over the ear. If it feels okay, you could also bring the right hand down toward the mat or toward a block. And if you would like to really work on pulling open the shoulders and you feel like you have the flexibility today, you can bring that right sorry, left arm back by the right hip and then reach the right arm under working on the bind. You can also do this with a strap or you can interlace the fingers or hook the fingers together. So listening to your body, doing what you feel comfortable with today. And when you're ready with your next inhale, lifting up tall and floating the hands down. Then we'll switch our legs. Left foot points toward the short end of the mat, right heel drops back, hips facing the long end of the mat. Inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, bending the left knee. Again, stacking that knee over the ankle. Lift the heart, tuck the shoulders, vision over the left arm. Pressing actively into the feet, feeling your strength, feeling your center. Again, rooting into the earth, drawing up whatever you need. Might be more of the same or something different. And this time, as you begin to feel that overflowing quality that you yourself are filled, let's send those qualities of strength and courage to the community of Boulder, Atlanta, and all other communities who've been impacted this week. by the shootings and other tragedies. Sending our collective energy to them for healing. And let's drop the right hand, turn the left palm up, bringing it up toward the sky, rooting into the earth, lifting up through the fingertips. And 
and we'll bring the forearm to the thigh, rotating the torso to face the wall. Can leave the hand here at the hip or bring the arm over the ear. And again, if you would like to work with more extension, you can work on bringing the left hand toward the mat. Again, with either arm position, or you can work on the bind by bringing that left hand, right hand toward the left hip and scooping the left arm under the leg, hooking the fingers together. And with your next inhale, pressing into the feet, lifting up tall, and exhale, lowering the hands down. Let's bring both feet to face the long end of the mat. Inhale, the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, swan dive, hips out behind us, floating the hands down underneath the shoulders onto or onto the blocks. Lengthening through the spine, chin lifts away from the chest. Gently soften the knees, press into the feet, and lift the hips up high. Rooting through the feet, lifting through the hips, lengthening through the spine. If it feels okay, let's walk the hands over toward the right foot, hands on the floor, block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh, lengthening the spine down over the leg. Foot pushes into the mat as the hip reaches up high. And if you'd like to add a little twist, you can reach back with that right arm. And we'll bring the arm back down, coming back to the center and across toward the left. Hands on the floor block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh, lengthening down over the leg. Pushing the foot into the mat as you lift up through that left hip. And again, if you would like, you can sweep the left arm up, gently twisting. And then we'll sweep the arm back down, coming back to the center. Walk the feet closer toward each other, stopping just outside of hip width apart. And we'll drop the hips down, coming into Malasana squat. You can do the high squat, or if you would like, you can bring a block behind the heels in the center and lower down onto that, or lower the hips toward the heels. You could also lower your seat all the way to the mat, walk the feet out a little further, pressing the elbows or upper arms into the knees or thighs. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Let the tailbone reach down toward the earth. Soften through the hips. And then we'll lower the rest of the way down and come back together in cross-legged. Lengthening the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. With your next exhale, sorry, inhale, <laughs> reach to the crown of your head. 
And as you exhale, drop the right ear over the right shoulder. Tucking the right shoulder back and down. Breathing to the left side of the neck. Gently releasing anything stuck in the neck. If you'd like to bring the left hand to the mat and gently walk the fingertips away as far as feels okay, you can add, do that to add a little extra stretch. Keeping the heart lifted, even though the head is tilted. And we'll release the left hand as you inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, dropping the left ear over the left shoulder. Tucking that left shoulder back and down. Breathing into the right side of the neck. Gently letting go. If it feels okay, you can place the right hand on the mat and gently walk the fingertips away, finding that edge of stretch. Not going too far into pain, just into that stretch. Noticing when you can let go with just a little more ease. And with your next inhale, release the hand and come back to center. As you exhale, turn your chin over your right shoulder. Hold and breathe, tuck the shoulders back and down, heart is lifted. With your next inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, turn your chin over your left shoulder. Again, shoulders tucked back and down, heart is lifted as you hold and breathe. With your next inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, drop the chin toward the chest. We'll gently sweep the chin toward that right shoulder. And then sweep it all the way across to the left as though we're drawing a smile across the chest. Go ahead and do this at your own pace, moving from one side to the other. And if you find you'd like to hold and breathe in one particular place along that path, go ahead and listen to your body. And when you find some balance between the sides, you can come back to the center. Inhaling the head up tall again. Let's bring the hands behind us, fingertips pointing away. 
We'll roll the shoulders back toward each other, lifting the heart and gently arching. So bending those elbows a little bit as much as feels okay. As we bend the elbows, it deepens that stretch. So really listen to your body, just doing as much as feels okay. And then with your next inhale, lifting up tall and letting the breath go. Let's come to the center of the mat. If you'd like to begin covering up, go ahead and do that. And when you're ready, you can round the spine and gently roll onto the back. We'll bend the knees, lifting the feet up toward the ceiling. You can rock your hands or a block underneath the hips, supporting the legs. You can also rest your legs against the wall if you have one available and would like to do that. Noticing if the shoulders are soft and relaxed. Lengthen through your neck. Soften the knees and ankles. And breathe into the belly. Gently bend the knees, rocking the hands or block out from underneath the hips. Hugging the knees in toward the torso. You can gently rock from side to side. Or if it feels okay, you could bring the knees in and out in small circles, gently massaging the back. And if you're making circles, you can reverse those. And then if you would like one last twist, you can bring the arms out at shoulder height, palms facing down, knees together. We'll drop the knees to the right, vision to the left. With your next inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, dropping the knees to the left, vision to the right. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center. Lower the feet down. 
preparing for relaxation. If you'd like, you can bring the feet out to the edges of the mat and rest the knees together or extend the legs into Shavasana. You can also have a bolster or a rolled up blanket under the knees. And if it's still a little cool where you are, you may wanna go ahead and cover with a blanket just to keep the warmth in your body as you relax. So if your legs are extended, allow the feet to be about hip width apart. Arms slightly away from your body with your palms turned up. Tuck the shoulders back and down. Relax your forehead. Soften your eyes. Loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Allowing each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace and calm. Allowing each exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Let each breath fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness to each and every cell of your body. Honoring all of who you are in this moment.
Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. When you're ready, you can gently bend your knees. Roll to your side and rest there for a moment. And then gently return to a seated position. I'll end with a meta blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. For our world, for our communities, and for ourselves. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today.